Hi and welcome to another Stithsonian Science video. Today we're going to experiment with the plasma ball. Most everyone is familiar with the three common states of matter, solids, liquids, and gases. Plasma is a fourth state of matter. Basically, if the atoms of a gas have their electrons separated from them, you get plasma. Lightning, the northern and southern lights, and glowing stars like our sun are common examples of plasma. At the center of the plasma ball is an alternating current of several thousand volts. The alternating current produces many trails of plasma you can see moving from the center of the plasma ball out to the glass sphere. Let's try some experiments. When a conductor like my finger touches the glass, a discharge tendril attracts to it. When I replace my finger with an insulator like this plastic pen, nothing happens. Here's an interesting question. Notice that when I hold my finger to the side of the glass, the tendril moves upward and breaks apart. Yet if I hold my finger at the top of the glass, that doesn't happen. Can you explain that? Notice I don't actually have to touch the glass to attract the plasma. That's because the electric field generated in the center of the plasma ball extends right through the glass. We can see evidence of this electric field when we hold different types of lights near the plasma ball. Here we have a red LED. It lights up when brought near the plasma ball, though dimly. Next we have a small neon bulb. This is much easier to see and you also notice that it lights up much farther away from the plasma ball than the LED did. Here is a standard CFL or compact fluorescent light that you might have at home. And once I get it pretty close, you see it too lighting up. Here we have a six inch long fluorescent bulb. And again, all these lights are demonstrating that there's an electric field passing right through the glass of the plasma ball. Next we're to take a look at a four foot long fluorescent bulb. The plasma ball can light up the whole four foot fluorescent bulb. Watch what happens when I slide my hand down the bulb. Pretty cool, huh? What this demonstrates is electrical grounding. When I grab the bulb with my bare hand, I'm giving electricity an alternative path to the ground. Not enough electricity is left to light up the bulb beyond my hand. If we place a conductor, like this penny, on the top of the plasma ball, the plasma ball's electric field will polarize the penny. This means the penny's top and bottom surfaces are charged oppositely. For this reason, if we bring a conductor, like my finger, or this tiny nail to the top of the penny, we will get a small spark. Now, although the spark is harmless, the plasma ball gets hot when you have your finger or the penny on its surface. So do this only for a short time if you try this at all. Next, we'll replace the penny with some aluminum foil. Here I have a piece of blank newspaper. I'm going to hold it up against the aluminum foil and bring the nail right up against it. You can see a tiny spark passing right through the newspaper and it actually burns tiny holes in the newspaper. I hope this video gives you some appreciation for plasma, electric fields, and the plasma ball. As always, thanks for watching.